They just concluded national secondary uh, school games held in Kakamega, so fans in their thousands throng the Buhongo Stadium to catch a glimpse of the raw talents on display. Our very own Steve Shitera followed every titbit of the competition and filed the following report. <laughs> For the five days that Kakamega played host to this year's national school games, it became a norm for the fans to fill Buhungu Stadium to the rafters. From far and wide, Nyanza, Kitale and even the locals in Kakamega, they made a pilgrimage to the Buhungu Stadium from as early as 9 a.m. to religiously follow the games. The young boys and girls on parade, on the other hand, did not disappoint, displaying quality football and high competition from the opening match to the finals, leaving the salivating fans yearning for more. Like the ball is on your court. You are missing the fans, you are missing Kenyans at large. Do something about football, do it today, do it now. The one-week sporting extravaganza serving as a platform to showcase the rich and tapped talent from the eight regions in the country. <laughs> Not to be left behind were the sweet tunes of his sikuti, which served as an ingredient in motivating the teams from western region. Shanderema boys particularly anchored their play from the midfield causing havoc to their opponents, thumping Agorosare from Nyanza five goals to one to earn a ticket to the East Africa Games in Rwanda, set for this week. <laughs> the 17-year-old Kelly Madada, a Form 3 student at the school, particularly caught the eyes of football scouts for his flair and creativity. We have uh, plenty of talent, very good talent that the country should be able to nurture from, and especially our uh, organizers, the FKF. We have a lot of talent that if is nurtured very well. Uh, we have a lot of ta time to prepare, and in the next five years, we should have a very good team in this country. The national champion St. Anthony Kitale went past their opponents, Dagoretti boys from Nairobi, to clinch their sixth national school football title thanks to Spain bound the 17 year old Aldrin Kibet who scored a brace. He also scored a crucial goal against Shandrema in the semi-finals. The raw talent on the pitch is a clear message to football administrators in Kenya that there is need for action. So we are going to successful in that building, Kakabeka has proven that it is a worthy location for an African game. Na sisi kama kaituzi na Kakabeka, tuna support mambo ya talanda, and I want to request Fazili Uedo wa sports. Iye talanda hena mbayo mongelea from the national government, Kakabeka county we are ready to host any tournament. This is the portrait of soccer in the Western region. 
The Kenyan representatives in various disciplines will jet out on the 17th for the East Africa School Games, set for Huya Rwanda from 17th to 27th of this month. Kenya's representatives in boys' football will be Dagoretti, St. Anthony Kitale, and Shanderema High School from Kakamega. Girls will be represented by Butere Girls from Kakamega, Wieta from Transzoya, and Madira from Vihiga County. In volleyball, Ruthimitu, Anderson, and Namwela will represent Kenya in the boys' category. For girls, Kesogon, Kwandanze, and Soweto will represent Kenya. In netball, Kenya's representatives will be Oyugi Ogango, Bukoholo, and Anderson. For rugby sevens, it will be Koyonzo, Vihiga, and St. Mary Siala. Steve Shitera for Sporty Monday, Buhungu Stadium, Kakamega. Wow, fantastic stuff there. Beautiful reporting. Arocho, you are there. Uh, Shitera summed it up in that review. But lots of talking points from that story and even the pledges by the powers that be. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to highlight something. I saw the governor of Kakamega. Surely, guys, when we want to build Kenya, we have to wear Kenya. Wear Kenya. He is the host <laughs> governor putting on an Arsenal an jersey. jersey in a school game. Surely, my friend, uh, governor, you, you've really embarrassed me. That one should not happen. But let's go back to the issues. Um, I think uh, I talked about a D-link uh, between the school games and the federation, mm -hmm. the body that is running Kenyan football. For example, did you see any official of the federation? You are there. Did you see the technical director uh, of uh, Football Kenya Federation, my friend Amwenga? He's, a, he's an instrumental person as far as uh, linking the school games and the federation. The guy was absent. You know, guys, we cannot just wake up one early morning and see success. You saw that guy who talked about uh, where he talanta in Apotea Wapi. In Apotea because the, once these boys are done with the, the school games, they ought to move to the next, the, level. the next level, and it's federation football. And if the federation is not represented, I'm not talking about the branch federation, because the branches in Kakamega, Bungoma, and all over the country cannot do much. The national federation, the presence was very important, so that we bring from school integration into uh, league football. Mm -hmm. But going back to the pitch, I was so impressed. What, uh, one, Abana? Abana Ba? Abana Bingo. Abana Bingo. Uh, Abana Bingo. I wish I could say much about the... the, the, the Abana Bingo is uh, homeboys. What were uh, Abana Bingo? Vijana wa nyumbani. What were nyumbani? I was so proud with Abana Bingo. Mm. Fans thronged into that stadium. Mm. Do you know the reason why they thronged into that stadium? They attached to those teams. Mm -hmm. When you are someone from uh, Ndewa, Cyclists, about 50 cyclists from Dewa, cycled from Dewa to Kakamega, mm. simply because of Agorosari. Wow. People moved from Kitale. Yes. In buses, simply because of what? Yes. St. Yes. Anthony. So it's a, the attachment that brings fans into the stadium. And that's why I normally talk, about, I normally talk on this show about community teams. Those are the teams that will bring football where it belongs. Wow. Okay, my KCB might not be one of them, <laughs> but KCB... But your Shabana, your Shabana. My Shabana is one of them. Yes. That is where football should go. Talking of community teams, I'm hoping also to see Simenya Secondary School uh, ruffling feathers the big uh, boys. <laughs> Zita, uh, uh, your, your thoughts on this? Uh, I saw pictures from 5 a.m. people coming to watch the game. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, una jomtu, una, the early you come, una pata kiti. Mm -hmm. So for me, that was uh, impressive, as, as Arocha said. I think Arocha has touched everything by, again, the transition of the uh, teams from the high school. These games has been there. Talents has been there year come, every year. Mm -hmm. So this is the time that we've, we've seen it. Like, it is not the, time, the first time we've seen it being big, like everyone talking about it. Mm -hmm. So it's been there. And uh, a lot of things that have, have been said now, we've, we've seen where a lot of teams from Western going to East African games uh, um, uh, representing Kenya, you see. Mm -hmm. So where does the talent come from? Where do we need to invest more 
on each and everything that like maybe football we have in football in in high school we have two teams in boys school in in girls we have like butere is the first that is from western and then we have i think um two of them madira from, madira is from western we are at transoya we are at transoya well transoya is part of western mm. so this is where we need even to build a what um a infrastructure for the talent from 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 scratch, from scratch. Even if you, if you check even in rugby, mm -hmm. rugby two of the teams from from Western. Koyonzo, Vihiga. Yes, from Western. Where are, where do we have to do it to put a structure to bring up this talent? But now again, she's asking a fundamental question. You covered it from day one to the final day. Can this team go and shine in East Africa? Who is Rwanda you talked about? And two. Mm -hmm. Harambe stars much as can't draw such a cloud. We are not attached to the team. <laughs> I think what what uh, Arocho said is very is very true. Mm. Uh, the people who, who are the driving force behind Harambe stars is the FKF. Mm -hmm. The driving force behind the Premier League is the F FKF. Mm -hmm. Now a fundamental question: Where was my friend Nick Mwendwa? Mm -hmm. Nowhere. A, leave alone scout just to experience the raw talent on the pitch. Mm -hmm. That's one. Two, I think if the Premier League drew such numbers, we will not be grappling with sponsors. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, this is a missed opportunity for marketers. Mm -hmm. Where were they? Thank you. Where were they? Or they were told school games uh, cannot draw uh, viewership. Look at the numbers. At 9 a.m., Arocho, uh, ignored. I think he also thought that uh, since it's school games, I'll get a seat. Arocho did not get a seat, and he forgot. <laughs> he forgot his stool. No, the journalist. Yes. No, no. But I didn't need a seat. I was dancing all through. Yeah. So, <laughs> to me, to me, the organization. Mm. Kudos to Kenya Secondary School Sports Association. Mm. This is an exemplary job, which FKF should benchmark. Number three. I want to uh, uh, throw a warning shot to politicians. Mm -hmm. Stay away from sports. Because I saw the scenes at uh, Bohongo Stadium, and you saw it. Uh, now politicians are using uh, the crowds to try mm -hmm. and uh, show off uh, their might, uh, landing in choppers, making rounds. Uh, 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 the stadium as if uh, they were strikers. I think uh, politicians should come to the field as spectators, not as people who are seeking uh, votes from uh, uh, the fans. And the last one... I wish you could be direct. The last... Mention this... You, there's someone <laughs> who really messed up... No, no. Shanda Rep. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Shitera, yeah. You know, for us to help this game, yes. we have to come out call us and call a spade a spade. Not a big spoon. Sh is Shandarema? Shandarema High Shandarema, my friend, uh, Malala. Uh, I don't think that was uh, sportish. You cannot come with half a million and say that if you win this match, I'll give you this half a million. It disorients the it players. Dis it disorganizes the players. Mm -hmm. and so for me, and uh, where don't means your words. <laughs> you need to come straight and when, so that we can sort this And when, when the team was beaten by St. Anthony, mm. he made an amendment to his promise and uh, split the 500,000 shillings into two. G into two. Gave uh, uh, Shanderema 200,000 and gave uh, St. Anthony 300,000. I think, I, I think uh, uh, my friend, he has, he has, he has mentioned, uh, my friend Malala and other politicians, if you have a token that you want to give uh, to the students, mm. please come to our good organizers, mm. Kenya Secondary School. Through them. Yes. And channel your support. Channel your support and, and, through that. Um, the message is home. The message is home. Politicians, keep politics out of sports and 